Hello everybody, Cindy here. I am back again with the Thrifty Thursday collaboration with uh, Cherie over at Turquoise Dreaming. She is the host of it. And I will have a link down below to her channel and then she will have links to all the people participating in hashtag Thrifty Thursday. So um, I am back with another video in continuation with my epic estate sale. Uh, there's still a lot, lot to go. So, um, you know, I get lots of comments that you are enjoying this. So um, I, I guess I'll just continue uh, and show you uh, the stuff. So, uh, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot guys. So uh, I'm gonna take you off the uh, camera holder and kind of show you uh, what we're going to try and go through today. It might be a longer video again. I'm going to try not to go into such detail with some of the stuff because uh, it will just take forever. So uh, again, this is Maud and this is Maud and her husband James and this is uh, majority of their belongings that I was given the opportunity to go through uh, through an estate sale. So uh, I have this box that I'm going to go through quickly, hopefully. And then this, this one I have been excited to show you. I have these photo albums. There's a couple old photo albums in there. And then I'm not going to go through all these boxes of photos, but I have this big box of photos, which is just packed full of photos. And then over here, <laughs> I have this humongous box full of uh, photos, photo albums, loose photos. And then this box back here is all the negatives that I found, which I'll show a few because there's some older negatives, which are kind of cool. And then I have uh, this lovely box right here. And this is all like ledger journals mini ones and so I'll just kind of go through like one of those each of those and then this box down here is full of notebooks ledger type things and such so we'll hopefully quickly go through that this box will be fun because it's uh, from what I gathered when I went through everything quickly it was kind of school kind of record things so and then sorry if I'm going too fast I have a few books and I do have this box over here which is more of found objects and things and then the stack of books and I, there's a ton more books but they're still kind of packed back in my uh room downstairs so uh, we'll get there eventually <laughs> so okay so let's get started so uh, let's go through this basket really quick so this basket I kind of had set aside when I went through all the boxes of things kind of categorizing everything and these things kind of stood out to me because uh, they just seemed older and kind of unique uh, so uh, this is a at first I didn't know what it was it's a piece of wood <laughs> But there's a photo on it. I am not sure who is on here, but I thought that was kind of neat. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Actually, it says, uh, it looks like it's ore. So this is um, uh, the lady of the estate sale, her husband, her husband's side of the family. So this is the ore side. Most of the stuff that I have is from the her side of the family, the silver side. So, uh, there's a lot of these. This is for Jacqueline Orr. This is for Girl Scouts, that's cool. So a lot of these just kind of receipts. I have a lot of this, so, which is really neat. I'm super excited about because prior to this, I had none of this kind of ephemera. And it says Girl Scout. Council. Uh, so, so yeah, there's just a lot of these really neat older looking receipts. And this is just kind of some loose stuff that I found. 
Uh, I do have boxes downstairs that are packed full of receipts. So uh, these are neat. This is an old um, receipt book, which is pretty neat. Let's see, 1904 is the date on that. So these are all there. Oh, look at that. Copy, and then this is what they would give out. And there's just a few in here, so that's cool. I can photocopy those. Looks like I found some cool little ephemera. This is neat. St. Augustine Historical Society. That's pretty neat. And just kind of odds and ends, some Looks like stamps, 1943. This is silver, mod silver, or no, that would have been Florence silver. Mrs. Elbert silver, this would have been Florence. This would have been Joanne's mother. And just some business cards. Yeah, so this is what I don't wanna do is go through everything. Uh, I don't know what that is. Just some more receipts. Just lots and lots of paper ephemera. Uh, this one's kind of neat because it's, you know, this reminds me of the Christmas movie Polar Express. You know, when they have the golden ticket, and they stamp that out. <laughs> this one's beautiful. Unfortunately, it kind of got ruined there, but beautiful and here's just a big stack of, of these 1924 and this is neat I don't know what it is but that is super cool so I would just find that little thing randomly and <laughs> on the ground in the garage uh, so uh, yeah and then this stuff got thrown in boxes and then I went through each individual box when I got home after going through and finishing and then just kind of categorized everything so little cards looks like Looks like some stamps that I found, business cards, pocket lighter, little, just these little receipts are just really cool. A ticket, that's neat. Some calling cards, receipts, handwritten note. I don't know why I saved that, but I mean, this is full of that. All you can see in there. Those are neat. You know, there's a stamp out there. I believe it's by Tim Holt. That is, is something like this. So really cool to find the actual real ephemera that he got that stuff from. So... I think, anyways. Okay, what's this? A lot of stamps. This looks like a little book. Oh, it says the New Testament on there. So, just <laughs> saw this throne somewhere. This is Bert Orr. So, this is uh, George, the husband of the lady of the estate sale. Her husband's father. So, that's pretty cool. And just stamps, older receipts. I know there's, it seems like I had different stuff down here. Sorry. Just looks like a bunch of receipts. This one looks neat. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? James Leland Silver. So this is. They had a third child. I thought they just had Albert and Levina, but they had James too. And he grew up to be 
I, he got married and everything. But I think because I don't have, or I don't have a lot of that, his stuff is because I think he took, you know, the stuff he wanted. And then Joanne took uh, what she wanted or what he didn't want. So that would be my guess. So this is Albert. This would be the son of Maude. He's pretty young there. He was in a fraternity there. Oh, this is George. George Orr, the lady of the estate sale, her husband. <laughs> Tons of business cards there. So, yeah, it looks like that's kind of what this is. Just lots of business cards and uh, cooler ephemera like that. Okay. this one quickly. This is the uh, box with, I kind of categorized as a lot of uh, school ephemera, like report cards and stuff. Oops, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, I believe I found report cards all the way back to um, James, I don't know if I'll find it and be able to show you, because I'm not going to go through every single thing here, but try and pull out some of the older ones to show you. So this is neat. Uh, that wouldn't go. <laughs> but uh, sign language. Pittsburgh, 1925. University of Pittsburgh. So this would have been James's, James Silver, I believe. I mean, no. No, maybe this was Albert's. No, James. I don't know. I'm thinking it was James's. So, I don't know. That's, that's cool, though. Albert Silver card. Okay, so this is a report card for Albert. Um, let's see if I can find a date on here. Look at the handwriting, the way they wrote those. Okay, 1914 or 1914 to 1915. Wow. Okay. And his dad signing it, and then his mother signing it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So this would have been Albert again, and another report card. Nineteen thirteen. Okay, so this one's eighteen eighty-three, and this is for Mod Diver. So this is Mods. Wow, that see this is cool, and that's it. Just that right there. So this is George, George Orr, the lady of the estate sale, her husband. And this is 1941. And this is actually a big old booklet. So again, I'm not gonna pull everything out because we'll be here forever. Bunch of report cards for Jacqueline Orr, 50 and 51, 57. Oh, and George's. Okay. Jacqueline Orr. Oh, okay. Promotion. Promoted to junior high. <laughs> so that would have been Jackie. Jacqueline Orr. Okay, teacher's record book. So this is pretty neat. Let's move this stuff. Just some more child development reports. This is another report card for Jacqueline. It's like a church membership thing, promotion certificate, 1931 to 32. Yeah, 
Okay. Board of Education Directory, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm thinking this was uh, Mr. Silver's um, book. He was a teacher. So that's, you know, cool. Teacher's class record. 1901 to 1902. I don't know who that is. But, pretty cool, huh? Look at that ledger. <laughs> pretty, pretty neat. And I believe, yeah, this thing is full. Pretty neat. Okay, this is James Silver. University of Pittsburgh Bulletin. A bunch of papers in here. And, you know, I'm not going to go through all those because it'll take forever. Account book. This is neat. Wow. That's pictures. November 1905. 1904, 1905. Wow, that's neat. Field and hog fence. <laughs> they weren't farmers, so I don't know why they... I guess maybe it's just a little notebook that was given out. I don't know. It looks that way. 1904 to 1905. That's cool. 1891. Yeah, 1891. Just a little booklet. I don't know why that's in here. Well, well, it's for Mount Union College. That's why I put it in there. Just a little notebook. Truck tree for the church. This is 1900. Course of study. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Another teacher's record book. And this is James A. Silver. 06 to 07. And it looks like there's some empty pages in here. Very cool. You can scan those in. Use those. So, yeah, just some more of those report cards. And some more. Little James Silver, 1937. Hmm, that's pretty cool. And another one, James Silver. I mean, just this paper is just so cool. I love the blank, but I think it's so cool to have all this in here, too. And he was pretty meticulous on writing da stuff down and keeping it, you know, in order. But, I mean, look at him. Look at how nicely dressed he is. So... Just a bunch of flyers. <clears throat> 1921, 22. 1902, or, yeah, 1902. This is Albert Silver's.
Department of County, and this is at the University of Miami. Miami. And I think he was a teacher too for a short period. Class record, so yeah. Empty one pages there. So yeah. George. That's pretty. Another report card in there. And these are just report cards, more of them. So so that's lots of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna have to bring myself to use this stuff. You know, obviously I'm gonna keep some for memories for myself just because this whole experience has been wonderful, but and just <laughs> uh, so but then deciding what else to do with it. So okay. So let's go through some of these pictures quickly. So the this is super, super neat. I think I lost my breath when I opened the box and saw these in here. There was this one and this one in there, um, fully intact. So uh, this was a seashell shape. It's just beautiful. And it has the closure, and then the other part of the closure is right here. It has come off, but you know, that goes on there like that. I am afraid. No, there. <laughs> so this has come off, but it was in the box. So, but, um, and it has pictures in it. But look at this beautiful scene here um, on the papers. It's just, just so neat. Uh, I'm not sure who these people are. I'm thinking it's the Orr side of the family. Actually, I think, I don't know if it was this one or the other one that said Orr up in the corner. So uh, they don't look familiar on the silver side. So, but uh, it's just a beautiful album. Just love these papers. Well, actually, no, this one did... I didn't take them all out, but um, actually this one, this one's Diver. Maybe it's the other one that says War then. Because this one is the only one that I have found that has writing on it. And it's Diver, which is uh, her maiden name is Diver. Mod Diver became Silver. So, But I don't really recognize these people. So... Pretty neat. Most of the cabinet cards I have found or I got were not in albums. And the ones that were the estate sale guys found those and they actually were inside the home, which uh, I wasn't given the opportunity to go through that for free. Now I shopped it. I didn't see any though, but I wasn't really looking. So for albums like this. <clears throat> uh, and then there was this one. And just some beautiful cabinet cards. See, I don't know who this is, but I believe this one said or on the other side. And this picture, I think, you correct me if I'm wrong, but it's very faded, but I think it's because it was a deceased child. I know they took post-mortem pictures. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I'm thinking that's why it's really faded. And I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but it the, the child doesn't look alive. <laughs> so uh, that's my thought on that. But... Uh, I'm not sure who these people are again. 
but here it says or. So that just tells me that this is the or side of the family. Some blank pages. And then we get back here, and there's some of these smaller ones with these. I think these are glass, maybe? I don't know. I don't know my photographs very well, but I've just briefly heard. Maybe that that maybe that's a tin. I don't know. But and then those. They're pretty neat. I haven't taken any of these out. I don't know if there'll be a date on those. I, I don't. This one's ripped, but um, I will get there eventually and look closer. Um, and I'm not going to go through all this, but I mean, again, these are kind of some more modern pictures. Uh, but this box is just. Um, Oh, I mean, I would find photos. I mean, I love this frame. This is old. That is so cool. Ah, oh, there's Maud. Look at her hair. <laughs> and there's Albert. Their dad, their son. I so, apologize. There's some older ones like this. Yeah, see, I think this is tin. Yeah, because it looks like it's rusted right there. There's Albert. Um, I think this is Dan, which would be George and Jacqueline's son. Uh, they had one child, and he's still living, but he's, yeah. Yeah, okay. So this is a modern picture. This is Dan. Okay, so here's George or this is Jacqueline or the lady of the estate sale. This is their son and he's getting married. Um, I don't recognize any of these other people. So there you go. <laughs> Current picture. So there's Jacqueline and there's George in their younger years. So, yeah. This is, uh, this is Bert Orr, I believe, and his wife. I forget what her name is. I don't even know. I don't think. I'm pretty sure that's who that is. Well, anyways, box is full of pictures. Some older, some newer. We have some older ones here. Uh, that kind of looks like James, but I don't know. Yeah, well, maybe he didn't die as young as I thought he did. I'm not sure on that. I'm going to have to get the family tree. Because that looks like James. And there's Joanne. I'm going to have to look that up again. Because that's... Me. Okay, so that's one box of photos, and then there's uh, this whole other box. Let me just pull this out because it's on top. <laughs> Some more cabinet cards. Okay, I've seen this name before, but uh, I'm not sure how that ties in. And this is, I'm not sure who these people are. So a lot of empty pages. And then we got a few pictures in there. So that's cool. I love this style of picture. Oh, that's cool. Okay, she looks familiar, but I forget how 
kind of looks like her almost. So anyways, another one of those. So that's the photos and then there's a whole nother box. Oh, and I was gonna show you some. So this whole box is full of the negatives and stuff. And they were just on the ground in the garage and scattered all over. But I just thought they would be fun in projects to add to, um, to add to uh, junk journaling projects and stuff. So that looks like it could be in school chemistry or something. So, so yeah, this is just one little snippet and there's old ones and newer type negatives and slides. So these are some of the smaller ones. And again, they were just littered all over the garage floor. So, yeah. Find a use for some of these and go from there. Okay, so let's peek at this. This box. So, all of this I found in one of the old steamer trunks where I found some of the old clothes, really old clothes, the wedding dress, bodice, and that. And these were in there and they were scattered all about. Uh, but when I saw them, I gasped. Um, but these were all James Silvers. And this one's 1930. And this is just him <laughs> taking notes. And I don't believe I have these in order. 1929, is that the same year as I said? I don't know, I mean, I don't know. These are mostly from the same year. This is 26, so 1926. That one was kind of empty, wasn't it? Yeah. Most of them are, are full, I think, but again, I could be wrong. 1931, so yeah. Um, <laughs> excuse me. This is 1925. So those are fun. And then there were these. This is 1930. And it's just these little daily calendars. 1954. This one, this one was Lavinas, I believe. And I think I've shown some other ones of Lavinas. Uh, this one's cool. This is 1926. Look at how that newspaper stains that. I mean, I think it looks cool, but yeah. And this one's neat. This is, I don't know if this has a date on it. Just a lot of writing. Let's see. There's a 1923 one. So yeah, oh, this one looks like it's empty. That's cool. So it was, looks like 1920s up to the 30s, or up to the 50s, I think, is what I saw. So these are just newspaper articles. So that's cool. And then, um, I have that whole other box full of ledger. So this is cool. This was in there. I just thought the paper was really neat. Okay, had the little pencil with it. <laughs> That's newer, but still neat. So this is neat, actual business guide. 1894. And they did have some of nicer, bigger ones in the estate sale. 
I don't know why I didn't look at buying them, but because normally they're super duper expensive and I don't think I even looked. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow, that's neat. Hmm. So this is really just a book on telling you how to how to use them. That's cool. That's a guidebook. Like what it says. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is a book of remembrance. Okay, so this is this is what I need to look on. <laughs> Their family tree. And yeah, it's kind of all over the place. So this has helped me though. Uh, with figuring out some of the stuff. So, business brochure. Oh, excuse me, allergies. This little, um, I think I just stuck these in there because they were neat. Just kind of so they didn't get lost. These are from 1895. And then this is just a receipt book, looks like. And a lot of blank ones in there. And this is from the 1880s. Excuse me, I'm sorry for the sniffling. And then this is really the only big ledger that I found. So this one's pretty big. As I said, there were some more in the actual estate sale and I know there were some I didn't even look at the price because as I said they're usually really expensive so yeah this is pretty cool and there's writing in it it's falling apart yep. so that's cool and look how that <laughs> Just a notebook. Uh, another notebook. <laughs> Just some more of these diaries. This is Levina's. 1926. And then there was, I mean, look at all these. 1926. This is Levina's. I can tell by her handwriting. And she was pretty good at keeping them in full. I think these I have in order. So 1926 to 1937, 1938. Okay. And then, so I'm just gonna take you off over here and just show you because I just, I can't go through all this. So this is the box that I'm pulling from, and that's how big it is, and it's full. There's a little diary. Maybe I'll show you that one. Sorry for my snuffles. I apologize. But this is just full. So I think what I'll do is uh, I'll go through that off camera, and then if I find anything that's different and just really, really unique and cool, I will... Uh, show you in the next video so sorry so let's look at this one diary this one's really pretty 1925 Levina and it's full <laughs> pretty neat very cool okay let's go through some of the books that I found. Now, I have, like I said, a ton of books downstairs in the other room, and they're in boxes. These I pulled out because they're a lot 
some of the older ones and just kind of more unique, I think. So this is Franklin's autobiography. And this is a Riverside literature series. <clears throat> and she has notes taken. Oh, this is Florence Cress. Okay, so this is Joanne's mother's book. And copyright of this one is 1896. 18, 1896, yeah. My bifocals don't work very well. So this is pretty neat. I mean, it's on Franklin, so. Uh, a lot of these books were in horrible condition because they were packed in the garage back in the corner and I think they got wet and yeah, so. But again, I like old books and I don't care if they're in bad, bad condition. 1910, elementary algebra. So those are fun. An algebra book. Fundamentals of spelling, grades one to eight. I don't know who that is. Mm, 1928. So, yeah. I found, found one of these. I always love these for the images in there. <laughs> so, I was excited about that. When you entertain. Kroger Stores, Inc. <laughs> That's funny. And it says Oklahoma City. We don't have Kroger Stores here. Hmm. Although I noticed that now you can buy Kroger online and they will deliver it here in Oklahoma City even though we don't actually have a Kroger uh, uh, brick and mortar building. It's just online you can order and they deliver so they have a warehouse this is really rough shape can't really tell what's on there uh, here it says Buckeye Buckeye cookbook the new Buckeye cookbook pretty rough I don't know if there's a year on this one And I don't know, maybe, I, I don't know, this was packed way back there, so I don't know, but maybe Joanne bought it. I don't know. They loved books. I know that. Joanne and George. Here it says antique, $10, so I don't know. They love books because in the actual house where the estate sale was held, uh, they had a ton of books, and I wish I would have looked more closely, especially on the day that everything was 75% off. It is what it is. Um, they had the books that were in better condition in there. So so it looks like just a lot of a lot of words, not a whole lot of illustrations, which is fine. Uh, handy volume classics. Oh, this is a Heidi. Story of Heidi. I know that's a very classic book. It's falling apart. Let's see if this one has a year. 1902? Nope. This one is pretty cool, but it's falling apart. Scarlet Letter. I thought that was so cool. So this was a puffy book at, in, in its time. So all this is, yeah, it's kind of a mess. But oh, look at those end papers. They're so pretty. I'll have to scan those. And I don't know if I found a year on this one. No, I don't think I did. No year on this one. Which is a bummer, but I think it's pretty cool. Oh, there's the spine. So, yeah, that will go on display in my home. This is pretty neat. There's two of these, but they're different books. Um, 
American Notes. This is Phantom and Rickshaw. Uh, they're different, but at the Golden Gate. Hmm. So ah, the covers are really pretty, so definitely. And this is I just love this size book. So and again. I'm sure there's no date in this one, too. So, very cool. Let's see. A few more books here. Oh, this one is neat. Uh, this is Little Women. Uh, unfortunately, the cover is just not in great shape at all. The spine's in pretty good shape, but... Yeah, I was pretty bummed, but pretty neat anyways. Uh, this is 18, or 1869, no, 1880. No, 1896. <laughs> Get with it, Cindy. So, almost feels like this was rebound, but I don't know. So this one I'm pretty excited about, even though the cover's not in great shape. This is going to go on my shelf, and sadly I have never read this, and I need to make it a point to read this. So, pretty neat. Okay, and this is Pose. Ugh, I can't read it. Edgar Allan Poe's, Poe's Tales of Mystery and Imagination. So, and I believe these don't have... Oh, no, this does have... 1916. And I've never read any Poe. I need to get with it. I read some classics. Pride and Prejudice. This is Florence Cresses. I think there'll be a date on this. No. Yep, here is. 1922. Printed in Great Britain. And 2,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And I'm terrible at reading now, so I'm not going to try. So, those are some neat classics that I found in the stack of books. And I'll have more books to go through in the future. Okay, so next we're going to kind of quickly go through this box of found kind of objects. Let me move this. I'm going to move this off to the side. So this is just some old, old papers that was in that steamer trunk. I haven't been able to find a date and it's just, it's just crumbling, but I thought I could collage with it. So that's why I hung up, hung on to that. We'll see though, because it just crumbles. These are, these were Levinas. I know that because she was the artist. And I think I found this all in the artist thing but you know old pencils can be cool so these are the mongol uh uber hand faber uh so yeah i think those could be pretty cool so and then just some kind of graphite or charcoal so and i like to draw and sketch uh, i have a sketchbook and so i'm going to try using this stuff so I found this piece just thrown on the floor in the garb or in the uh, garage, and I just thought it was really neat. There's acorns on here. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I thought 
Um, I could cut it and use parts of it on a book or something. I don't know. I just think it's neat. So I have an older necklace and this is pretty heavy. So it could be, this is glass. So I could definitely take these apart and make some dangles for some, uh, Actually, you know what this is from? These are necklaces, but they were on a shirt. <laughs> they were attached to a shirt, sewed on. Uh, and yeah, so I took them off. I washed the shirt and I'll show you a shirt eventually. But uh, so yeah, that's what those are from. <laughs> I found these just, I thought they were really pretty old shells and, and I don't know that I'll show you these in a video, but there was a a wood box crate, a wood crate, solid wood crate, tucked back oh, under the rubble. I mean, it was, it, I need to figure out how to insert pictures and I will eventually to kind of give you an idea of what we went through. It was all the way against the back wall. It was very difficult to get back there, but I saw it back there and I'm like, I told my husband, we have to got to get it out. Um, so we did and got it home because it was nailed shut. Uh, and there were seashells in it and it's all seashells from the Eastern seaboard. I believe they lived over there. Well, they lived in Pittsburgh for a while, but uh, they might have lived on the coast for a while. I can't remember, but um, but they gathered seashells and they kept them. And some of them are really neat and rocks too. So I might pull out the neat ones and show you in a video. But anyways, I these aren't from there, but so I think this is Joanne's and I don't know. In her garage sale, she was trying to sell it, but I think it's beautiful and I will keep these and use them in my house. I uh, just found this. I believe it's leather, a little coin purse. Oh, made in Australia. Kangaroo. Genuine kangaroo. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, this is, right. this is neat. At first, I didn't know what it was. And then, well, it said funeral directors on the top. And I'm like, oh, no. But it's not. This is just an advertisement. This is, I believe, this says mother-daughter. And so this is the mother-daughter corsage that was saved. A mother-daughter banquet. I think it says 1925. Uh, so, yeah, and this is just all advertisements. That's for the banquet. And then people signed it in here. And this was to Flossie, so this was to Florence. So maybe Florence and Joanne? Or maybe this was Florence and her mother. I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, I just thought it was cool. I thought this was really neat. So. Another wallet in here. I don't know whose it is, but and this is kangaroo leather, Australia. So, I don't know. I could clean it up and give it to my son. Uh, I haven't really gone through all this, so it looks like just another little thing. Yeah, this could be fun in a journal. Oh, this one, yeah. Oops. This is leather, and I just think it's crazy how it's disintegrating, but... Uh, I'm not sure who this belonged to. Maybe James? Oh. I got fuzzy on my lip. Sorry. I don't want to use my fingers. So these I found. They're little readers. It's a case. So I thought that was cute. This is smart work. Pretty sure. Made special for George Orr. So somebody drew this for him. I love dogs, so I had to keep that. Uh, 
Okay, a little shaver. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> little traveling checkers board. Don't know why I grabbed that, but okay. a bunch of prescription labels. That's funny. That's weird. Okay. This was funny. <laughs> Removes blackheads. Vacutex. <laughs> yeah. And it's in here. Yeah, and then the instructions are in there, too. <laughs> I just think these are fun, seeing the old boxes and stuff. Um, oh, this goes with... Uh, let's see if I can find it. I'll set it aside here. I just thought this box was neat. They're old prescription boxes. Fair, Chicago, 1933. Looks like it's like a coaster or something. I could use this on a front of a journal. That would be pretty. Oh, that's what these are. These are pretty cool. These are <laughs> plates. Remember when you have a credit card or something and They'd have to put it in this machine and manually slide it. And I think that's what these are. And these were Albert's <laughs> for his name and address. Uh, yeah. So there were a bunch of those. And they came in these cases. I can't get that one out. Richard's. Isn't that funny? I do remember that. Uh, yeah. A little leather do not disturb thing. Could use that as a bookmark. Maybe that's what it is. Found this. Um, an old razor. Maybe they had razor heads that they slid on there. Some old jewelry piece pen it was a pen watch I don't know what I'm gonna do with that I don't know why uh, oh yeah cool there's a letter in there postcard 1956 and this is silver, so that needs to be cleaned for sure. Moisture, I don't know. But that is, this is England on it. Pretty cool. Oh, little arrowhead here. It's not little, that's pretty big. Some copper, whatever they are. And it says craftsman on it. Handware. So these are just <laughs> things I found. I haven't gone through this. This is pretty funny. Just an old jar. Some old, I don't know what this is. Uh, tell me if you know. I have no clue. That's a pencil, which is kind of cool. Black chalk. That's a drawing one. I'll put that with the drawing pencil. And this. I don't know what this is either. It has a number on it. 
This is France. I don't know what these are. A fan. Look how pretty that is. That's pretty. That's older. Yeah, that one's cool. And again, I probably found this on the garage floor. Oh, this is a little clipboard. <laughs> Ah, this is pretty. Looks like the tip is broke off. It's a bird. I love birds. So that will go displayed somewhere. This old picture frame. I just think it's really cool. I'll probably clean that up and use it. Looks like some old rocks. Japan Airlines. They are rocks from the Dead Sea. Oh, wow. That's cool. All right. Well, that's pretty neat. I'll keep those. Put them somewhere. I'm glad that they put those little notes in there. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is cool. Okay, she looks familiar. I forget. Oh, oh, this is mod. 1898. Oh, wow. Okay, that's mod. That's her. Wow. <laughs> Just an old watch. That's cool. Little compass piece, key. I don't know. Yeah, looks like that goes with that and tells about it. A little fork thing. An old pencil. This is cool. I'm going to see if it still works. Oh, this is an old lead holder. Holds paper and it has Schaefer on it. Ha, huh, that's cool. That keeps pencil lead in there. Okay, this is, I think, seal wax. Hmm, cool. I'm going to paper clip or probably bookmark. Here's another bookmark. Another pencil. Oh, it looks like I found a few more rings. Huh, has the tape on it still. Wow. I'll clean those up. This looks like silver. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, I just never know. And this is a shell from the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> All right. Marble. And that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope we didn't bore you too much. <laughs> so uh, there's a lot more, so there'll be more videos. But uh, anyways, uh, check out Cherie's channel for other people participating in Thrifty Thursday. Uh, leave me a comment if you like and subscribe if you like to get more of these videos. I do not go out thrift shopping. I haven't gone in a very long time. I do have a, a book haul that I did... Uh, during or right after I cleaned out this estate sale um, and it was a, a book haul from a local well it's a local business bookstore that was closing one of their locations and so they had a really good good sale so I have to show you that yet but other than that I have not been out thrifting at all because I do not need to go out and I just am really focusing on getting the stuff gone through and organized so anyways thank you so much for watching uh i do want to say that at some point i will have some giveaways and i will probably put together some some of this stuff that i have found and just do some giveaways because i don't need all this <laughs> and i would love to share it with some people out there i don't know when i'm going to get to it I was thinking about maybe when I hit 3,000 subscribers, but 
again, I really don't care. Um, uh, my main thing is getting organized and having the time to get it put together. So it just kind of all depends on that. So enough rambling. I will let you go. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you next time.